This is a short film to introduce you to Tees Tidelands. Environmental organisations have come together to restore intertidal habitat, to reconnect people with the estuary and realign flood defences. By restoring intertidal habitat, the estuary will be in a better position to deal with sea level rise caused by climate change. New flood defences will protect homes and industry, but will also allow the tide to return to areas lost to the sea over 200 years ago. Tees Tidelands will provide an integrated, nature-based solution to manage flood risk and to create a better environment for the people of Teesside and, of course, the diverse wildlife that still uses the area today. If I'd been standing here in 1800, I would have been in the middle of the River Tees estuary, an area of about 55 square kilometres and a complex ecosystem of intertidal mud, sandbanks, salt marshes, filled with a variety of life, seals, porpoises, salmon, a, an absolute ecological jewel. In the early 19th century, all this changed and the estuary evolved into what we see today. To many, industrial development was seen as progress and the marshes simply as waste land. Over the last 200 years, large parts of the estuary have been taken for industrial expansion. The rapid industrialization of the estuary brought economic prosperity to the area and to the country as a whole. Industrial Teesside has and continues to drive economic success and provides a livelihood for many thousands of people. Much of the economic success, however, has been at the expense of the environment. In the 1970s, the River Tees was considered ecologically dead. If earlier generations had understood what the impact of their actions would be, both to the wildlife, the environment, and in terms of emissions driving climate change, they may have made different choices. Tees Tidelands offers us the opportunity to redress the balance, helping to safeguard the future economic prosperity of Teesside, but in a way that enhances the environment, using nature-based solutions to deliver long-term flood risk management. People love coming here because of the natural environment around them. Uh, and, and I think that's a great opportunity to make sure that we've connected people back to nature. It's a green corridor through our cities. Stockton is a fine example of that. People want to be connected with the waterway. It gives us the opportunity to realign some of the flood defences. Uh, we can restore the habitats that would have been there, being submerged by the tide twice a day. And we can also reconnect a lot of the tributaries to that estuary. We're now part of a much bigger um, jigsaw that's it evolved over the last three to four years with loads of players coming in now and actually delivering um, improvements on the ground. So oh, it's, it's, it's really a uh, fun uh, time to be working in the estuary because we're all optimistic that we can, with all of this action, we've got a great chance of attracting some investment, much needed investment into doing these estuary improvements. Well, ultimately, I think if we do nothing, the North Sea is going to win this contest with climate change and our chemical plants here, the infrastructure we have around here, will suffer. So I think what we're trying to achieve is a win-win. We're trying to look after business, look after the economy, and to enhance the biodiversity, the habitats, and the environment that we have on our doorstep. When we talk together, what is really clear is that we are all deeply passionate and really committed to seeing nature recovered. And so coming together enables us to deliver in a way that is bigger, better, more joined up and will have a bigger impact for nature recovery for this region.